This is the Kid Odyssey Turbo Bubbles Whale Voyager machine. So it's a bubble machine um, with three times more fun than usual bubble machines. It's on Amazon. Uh, it's under £20, so not a bad price because uh, you can actually run this by mains, which is quite good because you can plug this into an, a mains adapter using USB, or you can run it off a power brick, for instance. So with those options, it's nicer to be able to have that than just chucking in loads of AA batteries. Um, so let's get this open. I've had a quick look in here just to see if it was uh, the correct product, which it is. This is cool because you get different uh, kind of wands. So you can have the small wand, 1200 bubbles per minute. It even gives you all the stats here. So these are just like these uh, kind of kidney shapes. So you can have big bubbles but not many, not a, not a huge amount. Or you can go for the middle option, which is circles, 3,600 bubbles per minute. So again, this is fairly even across the spectrum. Or you can go crazy on the ovals with over 10,000 bubbles per minute. So small bubbles, but a lot of them. So that's kind of nicely uh, presented. Ah, uh, yes, you do get bubble mixture, but this is concentrated, so you have to mix this. So you get a couple of those uh, sticks of um, liquid. This is 10 mil in each bag. Uh, it does give you instructions. So it gives you ratios rather than uh, you know milliliters. So you might have to have an experiment on that one. But it's like a uh, one concentrate to three to five parts of clean water. So yeah, you can either use that or you could just buy some bubble mixture, which is probably just as good. Pre-mixed stuff. Get the instruction leaflet. So there we go. You've got um, Type C USB Type C cable, which is quite nice. Or you can put in uh, four AA batteries, or of course you can run it off a brick, USB brick, which is probably a good way to do it if you have to be portable. Or if you can reach, you can plug it into a USB adapter. So five watts is our spec. Um, water tank is 400 milliliters, so not huge, but I'm hoping it'll be enough. So it's quite nicely packaged. Ah, there we are. There's a, a wand. Well, there's two wands. So there's the high um, number wand, and we've got the large wand. Yeah, that was screwdriver. And there's our USB. So it's uh, USB A to USB C. Right, let's get this out. Okay, so here is the beast. So it's a really nice kind of look to it. So it's not a cheap plastic, it's quite a nice um, expensive feeling plastic. And there is the default wand. This one was the um, middle, I think, wasn't it? The, let's have a look. Yeah, 3,600 bubbles per minute. So the standard one you might get. And uh, you can see in the back, there's our fan. So there's the fan at the back. And here's our reservoir. Now you can use this and you can disconnect it. So you can tip it out. You can just tip through these little spouts. And you can clean that up as well because it might get a bit gunky over time. Should have a handle at the top here. There we go, there's our handle. And then we've got a um, power button. Um, might be a speed as well, so we'll find out about that. And there's the back of the unit, very nicely made actually. So there's our fan, USB-C on the side, rubber feet on the bottom, and there's the battery compartment. But rather than chucking in loads of double A's, it's nice to be able to just plug this into a uh, mains adapter or power brick. So that's what we we'll use today. So let's get the package open. So there's our other two options, the high bubble amount or the large bubble amount. They do give you a spare one of these, which goes into the central column there. That just fixes this in place. So it's quite nice to have the uh, locking thread, the locking screw, because if you lose that, yeah, it's going to be a bad day, isn't it? Nice quality cable. 
doesn't feel thin or cheap. So that looks quite nice. You can have this in black or white. Right, let's plug this in. And then let's switch on. So I think it on is at the bottom. Oh, there we go. We've got quite a lot of air. There's a huge amount of air moving from here. So it's quite impressive. And then if we try the next speed using this button. Well, you can actually use that as a fan. So that's cycling between high and low, and then off. Yeah, that's that's definitely going to push your bubbles out, with no mistake. So that's pretty cool. Now, what was the screwdriver for then? Oh, that's probably just for the, the battery door, isn't it? Yeah, so that's quite nice. I'll give you a little screwdriver, just purely for the battery door. So yeah, yeah, so it's nice. And then just to remove the water tank for cleaning, this little catch here, bring that back. And then this slides down. There we go. This is nice um, because it's a soft plastic, so it's not brittle. So, yeah, hopefully not going to crack easily. Obviously, if you drop it, it will, but it's not like that really cheap stuff. That's that's quite nicely made. And just slide that back on until it clicks into place. There we go, and then that's your catch, just to hold it in there. So, yeah. That's that's a very nice machine. That that's that's pretty cool. I think I might as well show you um, how this works as well. So we're just going to unscrew this. Well, it's not really a screw thread. It's just a push thread. It's just a push in. But pull that out. Need strong fingers. This comes out. Take your next one. They are square holes, so you'll have to line it up correctly. There we go, push that on, and then you just push your central pin back in, your holding pin, and that's all there is there to, to that one really, so that's um, quite easy. So we'll see the differences between all the levels, and then here's our crazy one. That'll get through the mixture, won't it? So, there we go, let's power that on. Yeah, that is going to get some bubbles going. It doesn't quite touch the bottom, so you will need a certain amount of mixture in here. So it's, there's, you know, you could get a finger size in the bottom there. So you're going to need at least a centimetre of fluid in there just for it to dip in. So, point to note there. And there is a max line, because you don't really want to go too far. There's our max line. So you don't want to have that spilling over the edge because it's just going to go in the mechanism. But so yeah, you've got you know a few centimeters that you need to keep that topped up. But that's fair enough, isn't it? So I'll get that into the low mode, and then we'll start with low and see how that looks. There we go. Huge bubbles. Locking pin. Well, I'm not going to faff around with the uh, sachets, so I've just got some of this lovely mm, cheapy one litre of bubble solution. But it's pretty, pretty good. It's, uh, it works very well, so let's pour some of that in. So I guess you need to get it over the bottom of the hole. So we're going to start with the large one first and see what those bubbles look like using power brick for the source. Here's our next two to try. So let's have a look and see how this goes. So we'll go on normal speed. Yep, so we obviously need more. Yeah, that's not enough. Uh, have a look in there, look, that's, yeah, that's not enough, so. You need to have that not over max, but probably fair way up there. You can see I've got a little bubble wand in there as well. Well, that's definitely over one of those, so it should just 
capture some of the mixture. Let's try that then. Here we go. Wow. Okay. So that's pretty good. Let's try maximum. Wow. So that's pretty insane. There's a lot of bubbles that are coming out of there. So that's that's cool. Right, let's try the next one. I'm gonna get very soapy doing this, aren't I? So I need somewhere to store this because I'm already covered. Right. Go for the medium, the one that comes on it next. Put this on. Right. There we go. I'll put that one on. Let's try this one. Very similar. I wouldn't say they're much bigger. Let's try maximum. Uh, there's a lot of bubbles and it's very good. I probably wouldn't see much of a difference with that to be honest. Uh, looks very similar. Okay, let's try the extreme. Now, it's obviously this is getting more slippery to get off. So, it's uh, might need to get a tissue. Could have got those. Soapy fingers. What they could do with is um, just some grips. Just some grips on here, just to allow you to pull that off with your fingers. But it's not too bad with the tissue. Take this one off. Here we go. Extreme. Extreme bubble mode. Let's put that on, goes on the square spindle. Central pin goes in. Dry the fingers. Let's see if this is any different. Okay. They're definitely smaller. And yeah, they are more numerous, definitely. Let's go for full speed. Wow. Yep, they are tiny and lots of. <laughs> okay, so it works very well. That's um, pretty cool. I'm not sure what my favorite is. Probably the middle one. But uh, yeah, okay, let's just quickly go back to the large one, just c to compare, because that was obviously, they were definitely tiny. Take one out. So you can see how big that is compared to the small one. So I'm just gonna do this one again. Right. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah, they are bigger. Yeah, they, they are bigger. So, fair play, and then full speed. Okay, really cool. It works excellently, so providing it lasts, then I think this is a great tool. So yeah, thumbs up for this one, and thanks for watching.